Hello, Chaz Marler from Paradise Paradise, coming to you from the middle of the middle of summer vacation. And when you're a kid, it's that part of summer vacation between still having a spark of creative energy and just laying on the floor all day trying to absorb as much air conditioning as possible. And this time of year is especially special to me because the summer after second grade was when I created my very first board game, Tar Pit. Now, it was a modest, dinosaur-themed adventure sharing the same roll-and-move mechanisms of games of the time that I was familiar with. You know, all of the standard cliches were there. Roll to move, lose a turn, etc. It was simple, but that's all I knew about board games at the time. Well, by contrast, this week my own summer vacationing daughter diligently decided to design a board game of her very own. Soon after, she unveiled the fruits of her labor, a game that still incorporates roll and move, but also adds storytelling, character development, quests, and interactive player participation. The result is more like something like, like, like a cross between Legends of Andor above and below with the dash of Happy Salmon. And I have to admit, this is a bit more advanced than the rolling and moving dinosaurs that populated my first game design, and this is likely due to her familiarity with modern gaming mechanisms as a result of the countless riveting conversations that her father has had with her about board games. Either that, or she's just much more talented at game design than I was at her age. Uh, but even if that is the case, I have not only caught up to her, but I have surpassed her design abilities. Uh, for example, the updated version of Tar Pit that I designed just yesterday adds a roll again space. Ha 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 ha! Checkmate, kiddo! But regardless of just how far superior my own board game design capabilities are than hers, the distinct difference in the content and mechanisms between what the two of us designed as kids started me wondering, do all gamers have at least one game design lurking deep inside of them? Have you ever designed a game? And if so, what age did you make your first one at? And how has your view of game design evolved over time? I would love to hear your stories in the comments below. But in the meantime, I'm going to go pitch the idea for a certain dinosaur-themed roll-and-move expansion to someone to add into their little, their little game. So, what do you think? I appreciate what you're going for here, but... The mechanisms you've employed seem stale and uninspired. Have you considered incorporating an app or asymmetrical player powers? That, that is really, really insightful. And you're grounded. Yay, I don't have to play this game anymore!